basically um my first you know video this is episode one or of, of i ate a six dad well um i want to talk about taking care of <laughs> adults taking care of grown people um my thing is is it's pretty it's pretty different as far as like um you know you taking care of uh an adult a grown person um you have different reasons why you would take care of an, of an adult um this reason that i'm talking about um of course is you know we're saying you're you're a mate whether you're married to them or whether you're just dating them um like i said you have people taking care of you know parents and grandparents you know the kids that are still in you know college and stuff like that you know i'm not talking about that at all we can get into that but right now i'm not talking about that um we have where the two situations where um of course i ended up having to take care of <laughs> adults um one well wow it's more than one <laughs> and which that sounds sort of crazy but um in my experiences of you know me going through what i was going through um i i was married once before um i also had i was engaged you know so i had that relationship it was like four and a half years on and off so it was a lot going on with that i was young you know even with that but um i still knew what i wanted you know uh but at the same time that sort of went south and no i can i can actually say that really wasn't totally my fault you know but i had i had something to do with it at first but by the time we figured out what we wanted to do um you know it was his fault the reason why the relationship didn't work and he admitted it you know what i'm saying you know even though we both apologized or whatever but um i can say just to give you the example i just give you an example from all three okay when i was engaged okay there was this guy that i you know met and i was talking to you know i'm young i'm doing the doggone thing i'm going to school i got three jobs you know what i'm saying so um you know just being independent now you know my thing is i've basically been working and taking care of myself um by that time with me, him and i talking it seven years um i was 20 years old so i had been working and you know pretty much making my own money and stuff like that since i was 13 so uh, what ended up happening was when I met him, I met him at my job, and he he was with um, relatives, you know, he was with his brother and his brother's wife, and um, the situation for him, he basically was carless, jobless, homeless, um, clothless, he really didn't have anything, you know, to offer, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, even with being young, I pretty much had everything that I needed, I worked, I did what I needed to do, so, I mean, it really didn't matter, my thing is, it, it has always been about attitude and character you know because your attitude and character you can always go from nothing to something because i've seen it happen so many times or you can go from something to ended up having nothing so you know my thing is i'm not prejudiced toward you know you not having it together or you not having this and you not having that you have to have an extent you know or you have to give me something to be able to work with and his his attitude and his character was great you know so i didn't mind about you know working with him or whatever um because he had to you know he knew where he wanted to go he was trying to you know get himself together so i'm not against that at all you know because i have like i said i've seen where you know people had nothing and ended up you know ended up filthy rich you know what i'm saying and you know the woman that was by their side you know they stayed with them they married them sometimes the woman that was by their side they end up getting rid of them i mean for whatever reason but you know uh, even with him, he went from, you know, I was by his side, I helped him out every way possible, I did everything that I could, um, you went from, you know, at, at the beginning, yeah, that was me helping him out, that was me taking care of him, that was me, you know, um, getting this, getting that, buying this and buying that, and which, you know, like I said, I saw the character, I saw, you know, he had a positive attitude, he was trying to, you know, find a job, he was trying to do whatever for himself, so I really didn't care. Um, my thing is, once he got on his feet, you know he you know gave me clap kudos whatever you know but once he got on his feet um he did what he said he was gonna do you know he um the situation with me and my roommate at the time wasn't good so i ended up moving in with him um and you know the relationship was great it just got to the point where um his friend had got sort of jealous of the relationship because you know even with being he was seven years older than me so even with being so young i mean i'm not the type of person where i'm getting my blood pressure up i'm trying to yell at you holler at you and all that other stuff whatever so you know we would always talk about what we needed to talk about there was no we didn't have to get ignorant with each other so we um everything was going great and his friend you know purposely started to sabotage the relationship 
and with him still being sort of young and you know whether he knew better or not i don't know but he started to just really go along with everything that his friend was telling him and i'm saying to myself like wow you know um you know you would actually you know do this to me and you know you want to get ignorant act a fool now you want to cheat and do this and do that and i'm like okay where was she when you were carless homeless jobless i mean where was she i was there i helped you out you know what i'm saying i was by your side you know i was there right there you know when you you know was getting ready to get your job getting ready to get your apartment you know i was the help me at that time you know being able to get all those things for you and i'm saying to myself like wow everything is already established you know you start now you know build an empire here and now all of a sudden <laughs> bam you know you cheat she come along and you just forget everything that i've done for you you know i'm like okay that's cool that's fine i mean th we went through a lot of stuff but you know long story short um the relationship ended up not working out you know you kept listening to your friends you kept doing everything that they were telling you to do you know because it was nice and it was cute at the time you know you you got everything that you need now you know the money's coming in you know you got the car you know you got the apartment i mean everything's going good and you tend to forget you know this is the chick that was by my side you know this is this is her but you decided that you want to go about your business and start talking to other people and the thing about it is god don't like ugly he's too fun cute so i don't know what make you think that you're going to be able to get away with you know treating you know a person bad and then think that it's supposed to be good karma coming to you or everything good is supposed to still come to you and you knew you just got to treat another person bad no baby it don't work like that so what ended up happening with him was um the woman he cheated on me with i ended up leaving of course i dipped back the relationship because i'm like hey you know you're gonna keep cheating and doing all this then you can go ahead and do all this by yourself you know i mean and it's 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 two times where i actually caught him cheating you know i came home and you had to you didn't put a chain on the door and <laughs> oh i just guess <laughs> that you was gonna have you a good old time while i was at work but the thing about it is and yes i'm a big girl you know what i'm saying i mean six feet tall you know i'm well i'm losing weight now i was 305 pounds but i'm 290 pounds now but i mean the thing about it was baby i kicked the dough down <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean because that's just me you know and i'm like wow serious you know you got some other chick up here but naked and you know y'all up in the, the living room doing it and i'm like serious yes i started to kick the dough down that's just me okay so in the process of kicking the door down you know i started coming to my senses i'm like you know what i ain't gotta put up with this right here i can dip go by my business because i know i'm a good woman you gonna miss this you know what i'm saying so i ended up going to go live with my sister you know uh, thank god she was in town at the time you know we went to college together and stuff like that so we ended up going to go um i ended up going to go stay with her and the lady ended up leaving them because <laughs> from what the friend told me you know later on i that's scared her you know what i'm saying so she thought that i was just gonna open up a can of beat down on her you know what i'm saying so she ended up uh leaving leaving them but you know the thing about it is every relationship that you were in from that point on it was not a healthy relationship it was not a productive relationship because my thing is um you saw what i would do for you as far as like you're not having anything and i supported you and helped you and bought this bought that did this did that but you know while you were on your feet they you know the other women that he would he was dating at the time you know they decided to take from him you know i i had never done that because i had always been independent since i was 13 you know as far as like you know working having my own money you know and buying for myself and doing for myself but they were taken away from him and you know they they were not being a help to him you know the women that he were with at the time you know they they wasn't being a help to him so you know he started um you know just really seeing the effects losing out they were selfish you know just a whole bunch of things that they were doing to him that i had never done and when he saw that you know um like i said god don't like him he's not not too fond of cute so my thing is he ended up having to come to me and to apologize of course i had forgiven him i, I mean my thing is i was hurt by the whole situation but I mean, he ended up having to come to me and i forgave him and i let him know it was okay you know you were deceived you were fooled you know we were young you know i was 20 he was 27 you know what i'm saying so you know my thing is you you learned what you needed to learn i learned what i needed to learn you know but the story goes it's much more deeper than that because there are a lot of things that you know we really really went through you know what i'm saying that i can't you know i don't have time to just really really say anything about it now but um there are a lot of things that happen you know that we went through or whatever but you know that's just one occasional as far as like me taking care of you know an adult 
uh, another occasion was, um, you know, a guy I was dating, 